some people get felt unsatisfied, here. but to see what happened mm. with Jon Snow, uh, you know, that was his inevitable ending, I thought. And the same with mm -hmm. Danny, too. Mm. Just telling you. Mm. I know they had to put everything together quickly, but I don't know. Don't right, on me. Take city. Well, yeah, that's my opinion. Okay. The best ever. Like yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, yes. Sam Malone turns know, the lights off thought. on Cheers and walks out, and it's pretty good. <laughs> I, mean, you know, Game of I, rem I remember that, Shregs. I remember that. Uh, either way, as you guys <laughs> discuss so amongst yourselves, uh, today is the deadline to exercise the fifth-year option on first-round rookies from the 2018 draft class, one of them being at Ravens quarterback, Lamar Jackson, who saw his option picked up by the team over the weekend, which made some people wonder why it took so long to make this move. We'll hear what the answer is. The general manager, Eric DaCosta. There's no reason. There's no conspiracies. We would just get ready for the draft. Um, you know, there's only so many things that we can do in one day. So I was watching a lot of college tape trying to get ready for the draft. Um, you know, We've talked about this a hundred times. You know, Lamar is a guy that's going to be here. We love him. He's really the face of this team right now in many different ways. He's a leader. He's a good player. And he's our quarterback. So uh, we will work tirelessly to get a deal done. And we will bring you the news when it is done. Bears fans not done celebrating. After they drafted Justin Fields, the plan is clearly for him to be the franchise quarterback of the future. But with veterans like Andy Dalton and Nick Foles on the roster, how long will it be before Fields is the starter? There's observations from all of us as coaches every single day. And, and um, just like we would tell any quarterback, when you come in here, you do everything you can to be the best quarterback you can be, whether it's in the meeting room or whether it's in practice and everything else will take care of itself. And, and all of those guys are gonna do it. And then, you know, we just gotta decide then when we get to that point, how, how is he developing and, and, and how is everybody doing and really keeping it as honest as possible with all of those guys. And then um, when the time is right, I promise you every single person will know, uh, including Justin, when it's the right time. And uh, that's naturally how, how it happens. And Fields, of course, has the luxury of learning from not one but two veterans. And as we know, Dave Gettleman will never have to buy a drink in Chicago once again. As everybody's singing, we're going to celebrate all through the night as the great philosophers, boys to men, once sang. So happy times right, in Chicago indeed. Okay, guys? That's what it's all about. Thank you so much, Will. That is what it's about. I love not rushing a guy in. I think I'm alone at the table. When it comes to that, it's been proven over and over again. Nagy saying he doesn't really want to rush him. I wouldn't be surprised if Andy Dalton starts this season. I want to ask you, Peter, what you think about the words of Mr. Nagy. I think I've spoken to Matt several times over the past few years, and it's always about the Mahomes development and like how it worked out. And his point always has been that when they invested in Mahomes, it was almost as much because of Alex Smith and because of the coaching staff putting all that time into Patrick and then Patrick taking it, soaking it up like a sponge. And that by the end of the season, by this game, week 17, this is his rookie season, the only game he played when Alex played, it was inevitable. Everyone knew, like everyone in the building knew, like <laughs> this is a slam dunk. And Mahomes was actually the one who was the least like, hey, it's my time, it's my time. It was everyone else saying, all right, when are we getting this guy on the field? Because he was that good. The crazy part is the Bears don't have that luxury. They don't have an Alex Smith. I'm sorry, Andy Dalton's not been there for all these years. He's so never true. been to the playoffs. He's not as good as Alex Smith. He's not good. So it's not comparable in that way. But yeah. I know what Nagy wants. He wants it to be inevitable. He wants it to be undeniable that, all right, Justin is clear. They don't want to put him in and say, okay, sink or swim, or we got to do this because we're one in three. The dream situation is that Dalton plays until Justin Fields makes it undeniable. I would mm -hmm. say by week five or six, we hope that's the case. Mm -hmm. But you know how these media markets work and you know how these teams yeah. work. If they don't start winning soon, it might be rushed a little earlier than the timeline dictates. I believe he'll be starting week one. I wouldn't be shocked. I, I if he makes do. it de undeniable. I, out the gates. Right out the gate. Yeah. And, and it's going to take the summer of learning the playbook and then, of course, executing. We'll okay. see how the workouts go with uh, the protocols, if these guys are really going to be in person or practicing together. But I, I feel like if all things are even and he's learning the playbook on the same pace that Andy Dalton might learn the playbook or already know the playbook and Justin Fields shows that he can control the team he can control the the mood mm -hmm. he can uh, build chemistry with his wide receivers tight ends and running backs 
he'll be on the field week one. There is no reason why you would need to sit him out, watch him for a couple of years. You know, this is a different situation than Trey Lance. You know, Trey Lance is one of those guys who has a high ceiling. Um, he's a very intelligent, smart guy, as we've heard. But Justin Fields has been playing quarterback since he was a, a young kid. He's not uh, some project. Yeah. Uh, there, this is the reason why he'll come in, learn the playbook, and as soon as he learns the playbook, that's when the time is right. It's not about waiting a couple of years or putting a, a mark on the calendar. Justin Fields will be the start of week one. It's very exciting. I, I don't know what I make yeah, of it. I hope that it's that's hard. It, it might be. It, it, look, there's an optic here where, um, for the first time ever, really, the Bears training camp is right there at their facility. They now have it there, which means there'll be a, hopefully a ton of fans there. Like, Andy Dalton will probably be booed, and they'll want fields, and there's going to be a huge upraising for it. And, like, the, the Alex Smith formula is, is very practical and very smart, and I hope that happens. But also there is the Deshaun Watson formula where at halftime of the first game they said, get in there, dude. Like, Tom, the, Tom Savage. Tom Savage, like, anymore. bench at halftime of the first game. So – Start Andy Dalton, and then, you know, they're down 17-3 to three to the Vikings at halftime. I think he's going in. Yeah. Um, I think, Nate, you pointed out something really important is that, like, Fields is really experienced. Like, he really has experience. a lot of big-time football that he's played. This, this is not Trey Lance. This is not Mac Jones. Like, he had all the experience. I think it's 30-something starts in college in the Big Ten. Um, but also, like, Nagy's kind of been all over the map. Like, Nagy's shown that he has a quick trigger, too. Like, last year with Trubisky, get out, get out. I want Foles now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would just say that in the broadest sense of this thing, Matt Nagy is a creative guy to, from the get-go. He wants to run all those trick plays. This is a guy who takes all his call sheets and pastes them in the room in his basement and makes wallpaper on him. He's very proud of his play calling. He never had a toy like this. I don't think you can be creative with Andy Dalton or Nick Foles. You can do anything with Justin Fields. I think it's going to be very difficult for the, 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 the decision maker and the creative guy that's Matt Nagy to keep Justin Fields on the sideline for even one snap of one game. I think if I had to choose right now, I think he might win that job in training camp. Yeah. At GMP, with your thoughts, Chicago Bears fans, super excited. I mean, no fan base has been thirstier for a dynamic quarterback than the Bears. So we'll see how all of that shakes.